Hawkins in the air. Centerfield pretty well hit. Carrying to the track wall, and that ball is gone. Wyatt Langford evens the score. And that one is off the fists, up the middle. It's going to be a tough play. Over to first, and not in time. Matt McCroskey got the throw, not, in, not quite in time. And now the runner, Pate, comes home. And the first pitch to him is swung on and drilled out into right center field, giving back to the track, leaping at the wall and making a fantastic catch. But it comes out of his glove, and now Langford is on his way to third. He's got a triple, and we are officially on cycle watch here at Crutchfield Park. Yo, one's hit on the ground to short, fielding on a backhand and squeaks by the shortstop. That's McCroskey and hustling into second base now. And the 1 0 to Seagears is hit in the air, right field, going over down the line, and it's going to bounce off the warning track and one hop the wall. Foster and Seagears are going to trade places. It's a two out RBI double for Jonas Seagears, and the Tom Sox extend their lead to 5 to 2 here in the bottom of the fifth. It. The 2-2 ripped, and a dive at third base keeps the ball in the infield, but it's going to be an infield single and an RBI for Lindsay. Let's look back to second. This one is on the ground. Foster, three bounces over to Langford at first, and you can put socks on this one. The Tom Sox win 6-4 to four in game one. Welcome back to Crutchfield Park for game number two between the Charlottesville Tom Sox and the Strasburg Express. Gonna miss strike three and a good looking first inning for Dylan Janek. He mows them down in order. Number one, six to four. As Evil gets into this one, he hits it well, going back with some carry. And this one is one hop off the wall, so he straightens this one out and he's gonna cruise right on into second base with a lead off double. Hits this one sharply into the gap, left center field. This is going to be trouble and it will roll to the wall as well. Ebel trots home, right behind him is Wyatt Langford and Garrett Spikes ends up on second base with a two out double. Yes, Pate gets into this one and is under the glove of the diving third baseman McKinley. And that one is upstairs for the ball. They have the runner Pate hung up. That's what the Tom Sox want as he tried to go down to second. Now Spikes is going to be caught between third and the plate. They throw down the third, the throw gets away, but actually the ball went out of play and they're gonna give Spikes home and they're gonna give Pate home as well. Swing and a miss, strike three. It's in the dirt and Langford applies the tag. Here's the one, two. Swing and a miss, beautiful breaking ball. Pitch. They do go with another fastball and they blow it right by him. As a 2-2 from Janik, swing and a miss. Beautiful breaking ball, gets Portera chasing in the dirt. And that one is hitting the air, right center field. It's high, it's got some carry, and it is going to get down for a hit. Seagier scores, Gidry scores, his second double of the game. The 2-2 is hit sharply in the left. Line drive, base hit. And that's going to make it 8-2 to two, Tom Sox as Ebel crosses the plate and Wyatt Langford's hot day at the plate continues. He rocks, he fires. Swing and a miss, strike three, and you can put Sox on both ends of this doubleheader. Charlottesville is 9-2 in the second half after a 6-4 victory in game number one.